today we're going to be revisiting an older video to see what sold, what I made a profit on, and what I probably could have left on the shelf. All right, well we are here today in Frederick, Maryland. And we are at the new Goodwill location. I'm really excited to get in here and see what we can find that we can buy and flip for a profit. Here we go. And then this, this Talavera spoon rest. I usually pick up Talavera when I find it. We do really well with it. I think because it's so bright and colorful and cheerful. There was a pig here and this kind of reminded me of Mexican folk art pottery as well. I really liked the pig. I thought he was great. I think he might be made of black clay. Here, I noticed another cactus, and I think somebody may have donated their cactus collection. It was $2.49. It was completely encased, completely sealed, but it had this cactus on the inside. And what it reminded me of was Beauty and the Beast, even though it was a cactus, not a rose. And then I noticed these on the shelf. And if you were watching close enough earlier, you probably had already spotted them, but I did not. Um, I have them in brown, now I have them in orange, and I like them a lot more in orange. There were Czechoslovakian pottery creamers here on the shelf, two different sizes. They have this checkerboard design. You can see everything I've collected in my cart. It was a slow start, but it's picking up a little bit. Now here I'm looking through the bags on the wall. I have had good luck with grab bags in the past. This one I think had an Avon uh, little dog there. This one had a fairy and a very cute set of figurines. You can see the sticker there still attached to the bottom. Um, I bought this bag specifically for those two little figurines. Here there are a pair of India cashmere boxes um, and this I didn't really see anything of interest so that was really it for the bags on the wall but you just never know what you're going to find. Now here I've wandered back to the bins. You can see I've pulled out a really pretty clear glass, possibly crystal, um, perfume bottle and I went back for more. <laughs> Down in the bottom, I noticed, hey, look, there's another perfume bottle. This one was not as impressive, but I really liked the butterfly on this. You can see the bottom is marked crystal. So it is crystal. Um, I liked it. I stuck it in my cart. I didn't see much else. Now, I am looking through the clear glass for any more crystal, and I noticed this bird bowl. Um, it was very thin, almost paper thin. It was 99 cents, and I really liked the bird. I was surprised that this hadn't been broken, honestly. And then I made my way to the Christmas, and I'm so glad that I did because I found this little guy, this Tom Clark. You can see there it is signed. It is a Knickerbocker Santa is what they're calling this guy. And, um... Yeah, I was really surprised to find that there in the Christmas section. So we stuck him in with the rest of our stuff for $3.49. This was so cool, and I'm glad that I spotted it. It was actually marked West Germany. It was $1.49. Um, you can see the markings there if I hold the camera still enough. But I loved the graphics. They're great vintage graphics. I noticed that. <laughs> I noticed that hiding in the back. It was really exciting. I was like, wait a second. I almost wonder if someone had stashed it there to come back later. Um, absolutely love this snowman hugging a tree. I mean, it's obviously a hobbyist piece, but it's very nicely painted. It was $5.49 and it's got, in it includes the light and everything. So I was trying to wrestle with the cord there to get it into my cart before anyone else snatched it away, but I was really excited about that piece. All right, well, our total spend there was, was it $65? It started a little slow, but they were restocking as I was there and I noticed like, oh look, there's new stuff on the shelf. Anyway, 
I'm gonna get out of here now. Um, I don't think we really filmed a full 20 minute video. So I will probably end up tacking on some more goodness <laughs> here at the end of the video. Um, maybe at the shop or something. But I hope you guys enjoyed this first segment and I will see you in the next. Okay, <laughs> bye. All right, well we are at the shop today and there is a massive Wi-Fi outage in the surrounding area. So. We literally have no Wi-Fi to work today. So um, I had to text my entire team and let them know, hey, we have no Wi-Fi. I don't know how we're gonna do those things. <laughs> oh, it's like everything that could possibly go wrong in the fourth quarter is going, like we don't even, uh, we don't even have USPS pick up anymore. They stopped picking up because they're short staffed. So yesterday, Kate and I took 80 boxes over to the post office, to the loading dock and unloaded them. And now we have no Wi-Fi. Just have to adapt and overcome. <laughs> it's like, how much adapting do I have to do? You know what I'm saying? Um, our alarm is going off because the Wi-Fi is down. So I'm gonna put around the shop here today. I have some auction stuff that we purchased last week. Um, I left bids and I didn't win a lot of the stuff that I wanted. <laughs> But I won some stuff, so I'm gonna show you guys what we got. Um, there is some good stuff in there. It was just like, wait, but I really wanted that. I, sh I should have just been there. I should have shown up, you know what I'm saying? It's my fault. Um, but anyway, we're gonna go through those boxes today. I'm gonna show you a few of the things that we picked up. But yeah, that's the plan for today. And then maybe this afternoon, I'm gonna go out and shop and find some goodies or so. All right, enough rambling, let's go. All right, well, I've got everything set out on the table here, just the way we like it with no paper, no rustling of paper. <laughs> but this is everything we got. Uh oh, did that? Oh no, it looks like he lost an antler. It wasn't like that when I got it, but it must have broken off while it was in transport. I didn't use enough wrapping, I guess. Oh well. Um, so, this is everything we got. And we'll start over at this end. We've got this beautiful Murano dish. Absolutely obsessed with that. Our total spend was right around $500 for all of this. So um, I'm not sure exactly how much, but about $500. This piece right here is Poland. Made in Poland. Amethyst Como Vase. Crate and Barrel, I think is who makes that. So it's a more contemporary piece. This was in a lot, and I can't remember what else was in there that I was really excited about, but that's why I was, oh, I think it was this. So I bid on the lot just to get this piece. Um, we've got this, this was an individual. This is signed on the bottom. And um, what I like about all of this stuff is it's pretty much all labeled <laughs> with I think where they got it. In this case, it's Stowe, Vermont, 1998. And it is signed there. It might be Zalik. I don't know, I'm having a hard time with that. This is Herb Thomas. It's marked hat on the bottom. Herb A. Thomas. It's a beautiful iridescent piece. We've had his stuff in the past. This one is just a little kind of crude looking vase. See the pontal scar there on the bottom of that? This piece is Austria. Yep. It's kind of got a neat texture to it. This one appears to have some age to it just by the crudeness. It's got little bubbles in there and it says Maine Antique 1998. So that's a cool little dish. This I believe is also contemporary. There are no signatures on the bottom of that. It's part of a lot. We've got two birds. I think this one is, a, yeah, they're both toucans. And um, one of these, which is like a swing. Uh, we have a duck decoy. I have not done very much with duck decoys. I know they make very good decoration. And he's pretty cool. He looks, he looks handmade. There's no signatures on it, which I was a little disappointed about. I was hoping there would be a signature on that. This one, another vase, China, it says. So it's probably made in China. Okay, 
I still have one surviving reindeer. Um, this is made in Mexico. It is a Rudolph, the deer. This one is as well. And then we have the sleigh. So I'm wondering if I have that piece somewhere in the box. Maybe I might glue it back. I don't know. I have to think about it. Uh, we've got a unicorn. These pieces are all made in Mexico. Um, this elephant, 1989. He's pretty neat. Um, over here we have a Murano dish. This is just absolutely stunning, and I had to have this, which is why I bit on the lot. But you can see that kind of deep purple with the gold. It's so pretty. We've also got this little Murano bottle, and this was actually, I bought an entire um, tray lot just for this piece right here because I thought it was so amazing. I don't know if it would have had a stopper. It looks like there's some glue residue in there. But I just think it's an adorable little bottle. Made in Bermuda. They got this in Bermuda in 1994. Now we've got these pieces. Um, this one is made in Hungary. It's kind of got like a silver... I don't know. It's kind of a neat piece. This one, I believe, is also contemporary. Uh, it's signed on the bottom. Gardor? Gardor? I'm not really sure. But that's neat that it's signed. I didn't realize that. Um, okay. Over here, uh, we have <laughs> this dollar horse, which was with the parrots. And this is what I was most excited about because I, I've never seen one this large before and it's black. It has the original Niels Olsen sticker on it. And that was just incredible. So I knew I had to have that. And the birds were just a bonus because the dollar horse is amazing. Now there was a smaller lot that had smaller dollar horses and also these roosters from Portugal. See, we've got little miniature dollar horses. Likely uh, also Niels Olsen, although they do not have their labels anymore. This one does. That one's from Denmark. They marked it. Oh, that's, yeah, Niels Olsen. So we've got a few little dollar horses to go with our big dollar horse. And then we have a bunch of just little odds and ends, um, but still really cool. This is from Finland. Made in Finland. A little owl. Um, it is pottery. This one's Germany. A little Germany cat. This one, where is this one from? Iguazo Falls. But there is a marking on there. Ostrorus or something? I don't know. It kind of reminds me of Artisania Rinconata, but it's not. Of course, we've got little bone china bunny and this glass bird, which I thought was really cool. It's well done. A little Russian nesting doll, and there's actually multiple inside, so it's a miniature one. I don't know if there would have been bigger ones, but there's at least three, because I did start pulling it apart, so there's at least three there. Um, we've got USSR, yep, a little USSR birdie. Focus. There we go. Got that bird, and then this bird was this. Yeah, that one's USSR as well. I don't know if that's Lomonosov. Possibly, I'm sure I'm mispronouncing that. This was amazing. I thought this was a really cool piece. When I saw that in the lot, I knew I had to have that as well. Um, Conus is the what it says on the bottom. I don't know what that means. 1996, but it's got this silver overlay to it, and it's glass. So that's just beautiful. Stunning piece. So these two miniature bottles were some of my favorite pieces, as well as this. And of course we've got this, Millefiori Bell. A little turtle. 
from Bermuda. This was interesting. This is a, um, a point. It's dated 1901, I believe. I don't know if that was a catalog number or if that's when it was found and they just labeled it, so. Yep. Luzerne. That looks like 75. Little glass hedgehog, so. Um, this is everything that we got. Oh, wait, this. I didn't show you this. This is marked Zodax. Made in UAE. That was a neat frosted piece. And then obviously there's some other little odds and ends, some brass pieces and whatnot. But I think I was really excited about the Dollar Horses when I was buying these little lots. And of course in here, this is the stuff that I didn't really pull out. Obviously these are like little Egyptian carved stone pieces. This was really neat. I think that's a stone of some sort. But it's optic. It's really like mesmerizing. <laughs> I was playing with it for a little while before I uh, started unpacking everything. So that's it. That was about $500, but I feel like we'll do pretty well with these pieces. Um, even the smalls. I mean, I'm, they're going to do pretty well too. So um, yeah, there it is. That's the latest auction. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day and I've posted a link to that down in the description. If you enjoyed this video, we will be posting videos just like this every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, so make sure you stay tuned, make sure you hit the subscribe button, and I have included a link to the playlist down in the description.